Okay, I, I have yet to find a style of podcast that I really wanted to work with. So, um, I mean, I, I write in rants. I just start writing and whatever I come up with, I just kind of, well, I just kind of put it on paper as I go along and I just keep going and I just type and I type and I type. So, and that being said, I'm just going to see if I can rant over what I wrote or rant with what I wrote. But anyway, this the topic of this po- podcast is called Why Black Men Hate Paying Child Support. Now, first, we're going to start off first. First, if any anybody decides that they want to use this or part of it or anything else, please have the decency to it. reference my name, Alan Robertson, or, or where you got the thought from. I mean, we the, the originators, we creators, we like to be acknowledged at least. Let people know where you got this from. Now, let's start with child support. What is child support? Child support is money. Plain and simple child support is just, it's money. It is money given to the custodial parent by the non-custodial, meaning that the non-custodial is the person who doesn't have the child full time. The custodial parent is the one who does. And the non-custodial is usually the father, as we know, or as we should know if we, have, if we don't by, by now. It isn't about the mental state of the child or anything else. It is just about money. Now, in this case, though, we are discussing why black men hate paying child support. I don't know about other races. I don't know how they feel about paying child support. If you know, please feel free to chime in. Let me know, because I would like to know if not anybody else. Now... So a black guy's sperm has been used to impregnate a woman. I say it this way on purpose because there is a rumor going out about we get women pregnant. I'm sorry, we don't get y'all pregnant. That's a whole different conversation and everything else. If you want me to talk about it, if I haven't put it out already, let me know and I will. We can discuss that. So she is pregnant. She informs the man that she is pregnant. He doubts that it's his. There's no way for him to know until a DNA test is done. That's how he finds out for sure, you know, babies look like anything, aliens or whatever you want to call it. But he doesn't know until the point that, you know, DNA test done for sure anyway. Now, if he doesn't want the child, he is going to be kicking and screaming on this one. He's he going all the way to the bank, all the way to the DNA uh, testing facility, wherever that is. Now, in this... We are going to say that for whatever reason, she wants the baby with this dude. I don't know if it's a one night stand. She still wants it. She knows something about his history, his background, that she wants to have a baby with this dude. He got money. He got good genes. She's done all the research and she wants a baby by him. I doubt it, but we're going to just say she wants the baby. We are now at the conclusion that she is going to keep the baby, that he is questioning whether it is his or not, or for some reason, he doesn't want the child. I mean, we're not sure why. We don't know if he don't want it with her. We don't know if he doesn't want a baby at all. If he hadn't made that decision, we just know that he does not want the child that is in question. So now we do know child support is going to be an issue because that is what this is about. Why black men hate paying child support. This is why I mean, this is my thought of why. I sat down a little bit for like 13 seconds, maybe 15 seconds, and I thought about it. Why in the world do... And because I see the little comments all the time about this. So, he doesn't want to pay child support. Black man doesn't want to pay it. We are not fans of paying child support. Here we are. She is pregnant. He doesn't want the baby for whatever reason, but she chooses to have the baby even though he told her that for whatever reason, he doesn't want the baby, not a baby, the baby. Again, we can talk about the whole V and A in this uh, at a, on a different segment. I know you want me to get to me, get to the meat of this. Say, Alan, get to the meat of this. I got it. But I just kind of want to make sure that we are going to be, uh, that we know what we're talking about here. Black men have heard all kinds of horror stories all of our lives about us hating child support, hating our kids, either ones that we have while we're married, before we're married, during marriage, in and out of wedlock. And you ever thought of the word wedlock? I I just thought of the word wedlock. Wedlock is a pretty harsh word. 
I guess I can talk about that at a later segment when I you know, put it into a, a comedy routine or something just like this probably will end up there somewhere. Um, but hearing the horror stories and seeing them play out in real life, it is understandable why we may be or he may be apprehensive about paying child support. Yeah, I'm finally making it to some to some meat. First and foremost, no real say so as to what happens with the child. I mean, we are told that, okay, I'm pregnant. And we're like, well, what do you want me to do about it? I don't want a kid. So now he's telling you that he doesn't want a kid. He has no say so whether she has the kid or not. She can say, oh, I want the kid. And he can say, I don't. She can have it anyway. He can say, I don't. I mean, I do want the kid. And she says, I don't want it. And she can do whatever she wants to it. We don't have any say so in that. This is our child, supposedly, because we hear it all the time. It takes two to make a baby. Well, that's a lie. It is not. That is not the truth. It does not take two to make a baby. We can go and we now we can have a real discussion on that one. You need to learn some biology if you think that it does. We've been hearing it forever. But, fellas, it is time to stand up and say that's a lie. It does not take two to make a baby. Anyway. From the moment the woman becomes pregnant up until the moment she has that child or doesn't have it, we don't have a say so in it. As a man, you do not have any say so in that during that time period. You have no rights during that whole eight, seven, eight, nine, 12 months, however long she carries that bad boy. Imagine not being able to decide on something that is going to have such a large effect on your life for at least the next 18 years. Imagine somebody telling you that a decision is going to be made for you that you cannot and will not have a decision on or you you won't be able to make a real decision on. You can only have an opinion that's going to affect you significantly for the next 18 years, at least. That's a lot, man. Now, we're going to bypass this whole argument about you shouldn't have done the crime if you didn't want to do the time, all that mess. You know, that, that's a that's a good little conversation piece that people like to argue about. But it really doesn't mean anything right now because we're talking about why he hates to pay child support. Now, in the setting of I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this if she decides to keep it. If she decides to keep it. And now in that scenario, ain't none of this cute or fun. It is heart wrenching. I mean, we're going, and let's add to the fact that you may not know this person as well as you would like to. Again, we're not going to argue about if you didn't do the crime, then don't. I and mean, if you don't want to do the time, don't do the crime. We're not arguing about that. We're talking about you. she, I, the man doesn't know her as well as he thinks he does. He don't know what kind of baby mama she's going to be. Really probably doesn't know what kind of woman she is. I don't know how these stories go, but I do hear the stories of how child support is never enough. For the people receiving it. Never enough. They're always trying to get more. If you've given a million dollars, they'll take if you make it more money, they'll take you back to court to try to get more out of you. It is never enough. And the sad thing is that you'll have little Pookie, Pookie and Christina over here. They got a baby together and she only gets $50 a month. A whole month, $50. But then you got um, let's see, Justin and Mariah over here. And they're getting a million dollars a month. What makes one baby worth more than another one? So is that child support or is that child punishment? Because what makes you think that your child is worth more than my child? Supposedly it's not. But anyway, we're going we gonna to pass that up right now. Let me find out where I am. <laughs> the black man in question is probably hating the fact that he is paying for something he didn't want. This man is now paying for a child he did not want. He is being forced to pay for something he did not want. And because he voiced his opinion about it, he now has a bitter baby mama because she mad at him because he said something about it. Because he shouldn't have said something in her eyes. He shouldn't have never said that he didn't want it. So now she's going to keep it. Now she's mad about it. She's mad at you about it. And what happens after that? Oh, it's a lot of anger, a lot of fussing, a lot of arguing and everything else. Now, a child that she is deciding to keep 
and she is deciding that she is going to make you be involved with it for whatever reason. Y'all arguing about that and she has control over it. Is the mother of your supposed child going to be like some of the other mothers out there who hate you, who poison your children against you? Is she the type of one that just gonna just act a nut every time your name is mentioned, every time you're around, every time you show up, every time you're supposed to show up? Is she gonna be the bitter baby mama who constantly, constantly gives you a hard time regarding your child? You don't know that. You have no clue. You know, the kind of mama that won't let you see your child unless you follow in her rules. You got to make sure you follow in her rules. Oh, no, you can't have no other woman around my baby. You know, that kind of one. Yeah, that's 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 one of the ones we can't stand. Now, as a person paying child support, you wonder where the money is being spent, how the money is being spent. Does it spend, is it spent on her going out to the club, getting her nails done or whatever else? And then she don't have the nerve to say she'll put it out on social media. She'll say it in front of people and anything else. They don't make no difference where what I do with it. Yeah, but see, but for him, it does make a difference because he's giving you money to take care of his child. See, because you know where all the money goes. You know where your money goes and you know where his money goes. He has no clue, but it's supposed to be his child supposed to be his child but you just do anything you want with the money and then you just make it known that he has no power he has no say so in what goes on how do you think he's supposed to feel he's supposed to be happy about that he's supposed to be excited about paying child support no sorry he's not going to be but that's what happens all the time i mean we, i mean all the time everywhere Nobody ever knows where the child support money goes. Not even her half the time, I bet. But yes, that is an issue. And it is an issue when someone is in control of money. You send for something, but you see or hear that it is not being used for what it, you think that it should be sent. I mean, used for. Now, it is an issue when you are paying for what is supposed to be your child, a child that, that it supposedly took two to make. But it didn't. We know that. But only one has control over it. You pay every month, but don't know where your money goes. You pay every month, but custody and nothing else is 50-50. You pay every month for a child you barely get to see and surely not equally. A child that you can't make any decisions regarding, but you have to accept whatever decisions the other parent makes for them. The same parent that hates you. The same parent that calls you a deadbeat because you aren't paying what they think you should be paying or because you aren't doing what they think that you should be doing regarding your child. Now, as a black man and a father, I see what we go through. I know the pain that being helpless can cause. I know the, how frustrating it can be to feel helpless, to feel vulnerable, to be to be hated, to have a charge led against you, to be shunned, unwanted disregarded by those you like or love or just know I mean to pay for for lack of a better phrase to pay for something that you have no say so when it comes to their well being to be forced into a relationship with someone or something only to be treated as an outsider or an enemy in that relationship why do some black men hate paying child support I mean, there are a bunch of reasons. Some of them inherited, some are taught, seen and learned, forced on them. It isn't always just about responsibility only. It is forced responsibility. Forced responsibility. Being forced, railroaded, goaded into parenthood. Having your name forced onto a document. Being forced to pay something you didn't want. If she didn't want it, she could have done many things to get out of it. She could have put it up for adoption, not had it, plan B. She could have stopped at a fire station and dropped that bad boy off. Men don't have that option. We don't have these options. See, she, if she wanted to, she could have kept you out of it. She could have kept that man out of it. She could have chose not to even tell you. After he said he didn't want it because she did tell you, she has the power to decide not to make you a father. Yes, not to make you a father. It happens all the time. 
Women lie about who the father is all the time. Some of them don't even know. So it's a lie when they say it anyway. She can say she recalculated and say that, well, she got the dates wrong and you aren't really the father since you said that you don't want to be involved. She has that power. I'm going to stick to forced responsibility because being forced into a relationship with two people that you didn't want or that the man didn't want. Who wants to be forced into a relationship? I mean, having someone else decide for you that you will be involved and not that not only will you be involved, you're going to have to pay to be involved. Again, this is about why some black men don't like to pay child support, hate paying child support. We can go into the whole responsibility thing if you want to, but that is a different topic, whether you think it is or not, because responsibility when you just talk about responsibility in this whole situation, that can go a whole bunch of different ways. Now I may do another video about that soon, about the responsibility side of it. But right now the topic on the table is about why black men hate paying child support. Thank you for listening. I know me and this is knowing you.